let's go further into context sensitivity in Perl. So what we saw is uh, that if we call local time and assign to a scalar, then this local time is in what we call scalar context, because we assign to a scalar. If we take an array and assign to a scalar, this is array is in scalar context. No matter what we put here, it's going to be in scalar context, therefore we write it, the word here, scalar here. So that's the way I, I marked it. This place, no matter what is here, what is here, is going to be in scalar context. On the other hand, if you take a uh, local time and assign to an array, this will be in list context. If you take an array and assign to an array, that array, the at z, will be in list context. In general, this place is in list context when you're array, uh, uh, assigning to an array. So if you look at a couple of more examples, uh, then you can see that er assigning to a scalar value generates a scalar context here. Assigning to an element in the array, well, this is a scalar, right? Even though it's an element of an array, but this ge generates a scalar context on the right-hand side. Any numerical operation generates a scalar on both sides, actually, because there are two numbers. Also, the string, string operations, like concatenation, they generate a scalar context on the right-hand side, and also on the left-hand side, of course. If the content of the condition, while well, the content of the uh, condition, they are all scalar context, and there is even a function that the whole objective of this function is that whatever you put in here is in scalar context. On the other hand, if you take assign to an array, that's list context. Or if you assign to a list, that's a list context, even though the elements inside are, uh, are scalars. But because it's in list, in a list, that's a list context. So the first element goes the first, the second element goes to the second, second, and so on. This is true even if you have only one single element in this list. So this case, there's a list context. This case above is a scalar context. Just pay attention. Here, the difference is that here there is no parentheses. There, there, is pa there are parentheses. And that makes it a scalar and this a list context. This is an area where um, many people, who, especially who are beginners in Pro, uh, manage to to, fo to fail because it's really a subtle difference or seems it doesn't seem to be too obvious. Therefore, I, I mention it so to remember that put parentheses around in order to have list context. Otherwise, if you assign an array to a scalar value, you will get the number of elements. Then the for each this here it is a list context join this list context and and print also has a list context. So what happens if you would, let's say, want to print out the number of elements of an array? Here I generated an array with one, two, three elements. If I just print out the array, it will print out the content, even without any spaces between them. In order to print out the number of elements, we somehow have to put the at a in scalar context. Because it's in print has a list context, so that's, that's why it, it, it returns the, the content of the array. So one of the ways is to do this, 0 plus and the array. Because the plus, the numerical operation, generates two, both sides generate scalar context, on the left hand side it's already scalar, so it's not doesn't matter, on the right hand side it generates the scalar context, that means that the at a will return the number of elements, and we add 0 to it, so it doesn't change, and therefore it will print out the number of elements. But I don't really like this because this is sort of the tricky solution and it's unclear for someone who is reading Perl, reading your code, why, why are you adding zero to this array? A much cleaner solution would be to use the fun scalar function that I, I mentioned here. And that's the main use of the scalar function. So it will take the ar at array and create, it, uh, create a scalar context for it. And whatever this returns in scalar context, well, in, in our case, that's the number of elements, 3, that will be returned by the scalar function. So the scalar function will always return a scalar value. 
Uh, in general, you can read the documentation of each function, typing in Perl log minus f name of the function, and uh, for each function, the Perl the documentation will describe what does it do in scalar and what does it do in list context. Or usually, what happens is that it describes what it does it do, and and it it is a description for the more general used case of that function, and then separately it explains what does it do in the other context. Uh, 